What's up, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Live With. Today, we are super excited to be sitting down with Andre Pishnitschka, the one and only mastermind behind the Butterfly Playing Cards. I say one and only. There are other people, obviously, behind the brand, but Andre <laughs> is the one you see using these things on a regular basis. And as you can see, this right here, Andre's wonderful face coming into us here for... Uh, <laughs> Man, I honestly, I never know what you're going to do when we start these things off. And I love it every single time. Because it's all I never time. know. <laughs> That's what I love, though. That's absolutely what I love about it. Because honestly, at the end of the day, it keeps it entertaining. It keeps exciting. But we are so happy to have you on here today, Andre. How you doing, man? Good things. Doing well. Doing well. Good to see. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're like here in a green room in like the back end of a venue or something. Oh my god, this is like the worst green room ever though. We are here today though to talk about the third edition of the Butterfly Playing Cards. This is like a re-release of the OGs, the Blues and the Reds, which are super exciting to check out. Steve, we ready to jump into it, man? Dude, I'm always ready. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I love this guy. I saw him stand up and I'm like, man, if we come back from this and he's twerking, I don't know what I'm going to do. But Dude, I'd love to see Andre twerk. Oh, my God. So, Andre, I got to say, man, this is a <laughs> this is a exciting day here. You are going to be well, you've already launched the third edition of the original butterfly playing cards, the red and the blue edition. How are you feeling about that today, man? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh my god! <laughs> Just Where do you case. come up with these things? Seriously. Like honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be yeah. totally honest. Dude, you should literally do stand-up comedy, but don't do anything. Like, drink your pee. Like, what? Like, do your stand-up comedy, but don't say a word the whole time and just do things you do. Yeah. So yeah. what you're saying is that when I talk, I sound like shit, right? No, I said and nothing, nothing like of what I say is funny. No, basically, you don't have to though? say anything to be funny is what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> usually, that usually happens with my accent. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. I absolutely love it. Good so Lord. how excited are you to be relaunching the or to be launching the third edition of the Butterfly Playing Cards today? It's amazing. Yeah. Um, the cards are super great. Uh, they're on Slimline, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. And I love this, you know. Um, I uh, I showed you last time, but after the uh, the uh, broadcast. Yes. And a little back, because a little backstage after there, party. Yeah, there are these. Oh damn! I don't have them. You don't have oh, the stickers too. Yeah, the stickers. So that caused like an uproar. I'll tell you why. So cool. That's so cool. It really well, is tell, so. Tell fun. everybody what those are. So these are stickers that are included with every one of these. Yeah, yeah. as the third edition original with video instructions. So cool. And so you can take a sticker and put it on the box and customize it. Like, for instance, I could take this one here and put it like this i just need a little andre for my pocket so i can put it in my so, pocket stockholm 17's a queen which is obviously she's designed by lorenzo gaiotti right yeah so she's thinking something while reaching with her royalty hand toward the butterfly and now we can ask people in the chat what is she thinking? Oh my god. What is she thinking? What is she thinking out there, everybody? Know, what are right? you thinking? <laughs> We're gonna create a um box now here. And then we're gonna do a giveaway and we're gonna send it to someone. How about that? That's amazing. Dude, I'm always and on board with that. You know what? Uh here. This. So, the butterfly will say something, right? <laughs> Call the butterfly will say something, 
and he will think something, but she will say something else. Oh, okay. Uh, right? We've created a nice so little ad, um, a Mad Libs here. That's so dope. <laughs> so now, guys, uh, guys and ladies in the chat, come up with a story. What's happening here? And then I'm going to take a Sharpie. I'm going to write it in. And whoever is <laughs> Chris, uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's so huge. I, know. I would say like, uh, she says, uh, so huge. She, says, <laughs> she said, that's what she said. said. And, and she's like, no, what a dick. <laughs> oh make make sure you do them in that order. You have to put a number one there in little thought bubble. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Good oh Lord. man. Good so Lord. now, now explain a little bit more about the stickers because people just think they're normal stickers, right? Yeah. Sorry. So uh, this is what it says. Oh, I already used them uh, quite obviously. So here, that's this one. Design your own butterfly tuck case with the help of the world's greatest playing card designers. Simply place your favorite stickers anywhere on the tuck. Add thoughts or speech bubbles to your scene. Use a marker to add colors, words, or drawings. Set your creativity free. Nice. And share your creative designs with us and the world on Instagram. Tag butterfly playing cards, and you can tag the designers of the stickers you used to show off your creative ideas. Don't forget to add hashtag my butterfly design, as we will be drawing a valuable creativity prize a few times a year. Nice. The amazing designers that helped you create your own tuck case are. Uh oh, get ready for these names. AC. Yes. Alex Chin. Nice. A little bit of seasons so, playing cards right there. Yes. So this is the caterpillar hanging out on the mushroom, flying its butterfly kite. I love That's that. That's so dope. Uh, the next one. <laughs> Here. E H. Edo Huang. Very good. Nice. Edo. Next one. J H. Uh J H. Years Huygen. Oh, you're okay. Moon. Florida oh. Moon. Oh, nice. nice. That's awesome. Oh, that's super cool. I didn't you know didn't that. know he's I a didn't designer, know yours right? was a designer. Oh, no. that's really cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> And he is indeed. Well, we've talked about this guy already. Lorenzo. Yeah. Lorenzo Gagliotti. Yeah. yeah. Or also known as Stockholm 17. Stockholm 17. So I have two names for this guy. It's either Goat Trek. Or slow track. <laughs> <laughs> low track from Oath. Which one yes. are we looking at? Are we looking at TK or are we looking at the top one? No, we are looking at LO because okay. this is a reflection of the butterfly in water. That's dope. So that's why I'm putting it this way, right? That's really cool. Dude, when, when you put that when you put that sticker on with the butterflies, like with the on the tuck, I got a couple people messaging me being like Oh god, this deck's gonna be worth so much money. And I'm like, relax. <laughs> it's a sticker that comes with the new deck. Like it's oh, they're not god. collaborating on the deck because if they did, it'd be probably ready in 3035. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such mm. a such a good looking sticker though. Yeah, it's really for fun. Him. For him. Okay. <laughs> then we have two. Oh, two. We are looking at PD. P. Diddy? Diddy is an amazing, very talented, unknown designer. Nice. Who designed one deck of playing cards so far? 
Okay. As far as I know. Who's PD? Actually, actually two, but the second one doesn't exist yet. Here you um, go. Paul Diaz. PD is Paulina Diaz. Yes. Hi. Very nice, Crushing Lado it. Star. Very nicely done. That is Paulina. Hey, crushing it. Boy, now, what, are the nice. decks that, what did Paulina Diaz design? What deck? Magnolia playing cards by Butterfly playing cards. Uh, Very nice. Awesome. All right. And another, uh, did I just hear you say in another one that has yet to be released, though? Uh, what? Did I say anything like that? <laughs> I, oh, I my God. I love it. I do not remember that anything like that happened. Oh, and the deck. Um, but uh, I'm going to tell you all about it. Nice. Let's so, hear it. As you know, uh, Magnolia playing cards were printed for the Magnolia online show. Yep. Yeah. Which is uh, my online show that happens every Sunday, but actually it's happening this Sunday in two days. And then December 12th, actually this weekend is the, no, it's, no, it's not. I'm lying one more week. Uh, but uh, there's a package that comes with, and someone just bought a ticket to the show. So, nice. um, and on butterflyplayingcards.com, you can see in the menu Magnolia Show. And there are two options you can choose. Either just online ticket only for 25 euros, or you can get a package with a deck of cards. And Does that, that package come card... via DHL Express? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Uh, because otherwise it wouldn't come in time for the show. Right. And we always ship it on Monday, uh, the week of the show. So it has a week to reach you, and with DHL, that reaches you. Doesn't matter where in the world you are. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, and uh, okie dokie, where was I? Yes, Magnolia playing cards. So Paulina uh, designed these cards for us, and I got them printed with USPCC. It's the only deck ever released by Butterfly Playing Cards that is printed with USPCC. Interesting. One thing. Two, we printed 2,500 decks. Um, these decks were scheduled to arrive before the premiere of Butterfly of uh, Magnolia online show. But something uh, happened and USBCC couldn't make it. That's, uh, a, but, that's a shocker. <laughs> right? But luckily, luckily, uh, I asked them to send one box in advance uh, and they said they can do it so it would reach me on time for the premiere. So they sent one box. I asked them if they could send it by DHL. They said, we'll send it by FedEx. So they sent it by FedEx economy, which wow. means it arrives not on time, but not in time for us to ship the decks to people so i said what the sweetness and uh <laughs> We're past 10 minutes, them, you can say whatever you want <laughs> i i uh, i ordered a pickup by dhl express um that that picked it up and the cards arrived on time this one box but before that, they also shipped one by FedEx. When the cards arrived, I examined them and found out that they are not printed well, that they're faulty, the decks. There were some issues with oh. the decks. Uh, there was some, do you know what ghosting is? So that means that the in the like, cards, okay. some of the cards have a Out visible, uh, like little things from previous decks, you know, on the printer sheets, you know what? Uh, so th there were some words from some other deck. I don't know what it was. Um, Interesting. And they found out they found out that it's on all the decks, all the two thousand five hundred decks they printed. Luckily, you got that one deck, so you knew. So they said that they're gonna destroy all of the decks, uh, the rest. And I said, hmm. Uh, I actually, if that's okay, if you could give me a good price, I'm gonna buy them anyway. They said they gave me a good price. I said, okay, I'm going to buy them. They said, we're going to check if they haven't been destroyed yet. They said, no, okay, they haven't been destroyed yet. 
destroyed yet, we will uh, ship them to you. About uh, four days after, I got a message that um, the people uh, did not dispatch them, but instead they destroyed them. So, um, uh, 200, 288 decks of Magnolia playing cards exist. That is uh, crazy. So this, this might uh, become the holy grail of butterfly playing cards, actually. Wait, so you only um, got 288 of them? I have 288 of them. And how many have you uh, already gotten rid of due to the, sh the shell? <clears throat> uh, we have we have 120 left. Wow. Uh, and we're going to do about... Um, well, the lockdown begins here again. So I'm going to probably add some shows in December. Nice. But... Uh, right now we have December 12th, so if you haven't and you don't have the Magnolia cards, uh, you should buy a ticket for December 12th. We what still have is the some. It's Sunday, and it's sure nine. Yeah. It's nine p.m. Um, Prague time, which is two p.m. Eastern noon, Standard Time, noon Los Angeles time. Yeah. You can go. Uh, 11, 11 Los Angeles yeah, time. Killing me, bro. I can't go. That's sad. Yeah, Maybe. it is sad because Tyler and I wanted to go, bro. Why Why? And why and can't you go? Because we have our show on Sundays. <laughs> At 2 p.m. Eastern time. At 2 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> Literally, we're competing with Andre. Thanks, Andre. Way to be a friend, buddy. Oh, my can, God. Thank you. Can't you shift it once or a pre-recorded once? We'll, we'll shift one once to make sure we make it through. Don't worry. We'll shift <laughs> it once. Well, we but you, we can make December that happen. 12th, I don't know or what's going could, on December 12th, could, but we'll figure it out. Live, you could live broadcast you watching my show. <laughs> that would be interesting. Idea. That would be interesting right? for sure. <laughs> you know, because uh -huh. people are putting on YouTube things like, uh, you know, like a uh, magician watching, magician, full pen and teller. Yeah, or, but we gotta we gotta show your show if we're gonna do that. Well, it's some of it. You don't have to show everything, right? No, that's true. We can do like a reaction type thing. Who knows? We'll we'll talk. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll we'll definitely we'll, see your show though. We'll talk. We'll talk. Maybe, maybe we can have our own private show or something. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> USBCC is reprinting the Magnolia deck. It actually is already done. Mm -hmm. um, and it will be in a different color. Nice. Oh, nice. So these 288 decks is really everything that exists. Um, and I am using quite a few in the show and for the show. And uh, I'm going to keep some as well. Nice. So this year, uh, the shows that will happen this year will get uh, one of these or the tickets will get one of these Magnolia decks. But the ones that will happen next year will already have the, the new deck. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. So this so, is really a know, limited run there. Yeah. If you get a ticket for this year, you're going to get the Holy Grail. And really, that's that's what I think is going to happen with it. Well, for anyone right. who hasn't checked it out yet, the link is pinned in the chat to go directly to the Magnolia show on Andre's site. And like you mentioned, you'll see two options there, the 25 euro one, which is the ticket to the show, and then the 45 euro, which gets you the deck as well, which in my mind, the shipping alone makes that worth it right there. So you'll have that deck in hand before the show, which is absolutely awesome. I also made, made, I made this one with the third edition. And that's, that's Paulina's sticker. And this is a caterpillar that is of an um, unknown designer because it doesn't have, the, you know, when you see it on it, it doesn't have, um, how do you call them, initials. The initials there, yeah. Um, OP on and... that caterpillar? <laughs> no. <laughs> this, has been designed, this has been designed by Martin Čtverák. Okay. And he he um, he is the guy who put this together. Oh, that's really cool! Right? Oh, like, cool. 
like visually. And uh, this little caterpillar is a little Easter egg that's been happening on butterfly playing cards for quite a long time. Um, mm. Somewhere in the deck, like in the inner printing, very all the Black Series decks have the caterpillar hidden somewhere on really? inside of the tuck case. Oh, on the inside of the tuck case. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to ru ruin the tuck case. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you don't have to. You just, uh, just have to open it. Just look and try to find it. Where it's there somewhere. There's somewhere. It's a tiny little caterpillar. That's really cool. Uh, so, how are we doing on our story? Yeah, everybody, let's get an update on the story here. Let us know what you're... And <clears throat> so let's let's number these. The first number is going to be which one? The the speech bubble from, from Lorenzo's thinking woman. Then number two will be the speech bubble from the butterfly. And then number three will be the thought bubble from the woman. So feel free to number your story in any order you would like, but drop your story in the comments, at least so we can see what you're thinking there. And then we can uh, see how things are progressing. So we have one that's, uh, you're too big, right? Or you're so, what a, such a big butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Chris, Chris, I will right? really. I think Chris did that one. Yeah, Chris White. <laughs> Uh, and while we're while we're letting people's creative juices flow, do we want to check out the uh, trailer here, Andre? Yeah. So uh, with the with the third edition decks uh, come video tutorials, new nice. video tutorial tutorials that we shot with the second uh, with the first and second edition. You got also the video tutorials; those were wrapped in Tyvek, and we shot that with Murphy's Magic. The previous ones, that was a one hour, a little less than one hour of video tutorials. Now we have over, over two hours of, um, of stuff. We have all the previous things with some updates and some brand new material and never before published or even said. I've never talked about some of the ideas anywhere. Um, there are some techniques and... Uh, I've explained some of the Easter eggs in the deck as well. Nice. And uh, now I'd like to share one of the performance videos with you. Uh, okay. That's one of the effects that is explained in the tutorials. And it is called the double decker that cannot be explained. All right, let's check this thing out. Shuffle the cards for me, please. Thank you. Shuffle well. Shuffle in the best way you can. That's what you're doing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now put them behind your back. Mm -hmm. Take one card out and hide it. Hide it somewhere. Like in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> okay. And when you're done, mm -hmm. you can hand me the deck. And I'm going to give you another deck of cards instead. Okay. Yes. You're curious probably, why am I giving you a different deck, <laughs> right? Well, I... that question <laughs> I have an answer for. And I will give you the answer in a moment. Mm -hmm. First, shuffle those cards. Because they could be in a stack or something like that. And we don't want that. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Good? No. No, not yet? No. Okay. <laughs> Andre, I always love that your personality I comes through no matter what we're watching of you. Love it. Okay. Thank you. And uh, now, if you could just name any number between 1 and 10. It's up to you. 3. 3? Yes. Okay. Now count three cards from the top right here. One. Right here or here? Well, oh, you okay. can hear. Yeah, it's the same thing. Three. Now your name is Aratka, right? Mm -hmm. So spell Aratka. R-A-D-K-A. -A. Is that it? Yes. Okay. 
And what is this card? <laughs> the one that fell on A. Five of hearts. Mm -hmm. And now the answer to your question comes. Because I had to switch the deck for a different one because this would be impossible with this deck. Because there is one card missing in this deck of cards. Mm -hmm. She's like, God damn you. <laughs> I sir, like, I can't even handle it. I, I can't. Dude, the the absolute like the the shock is there, but then the ah, he did it again. I love all the emotion there. It's just perfect. Dude, you, you know what the crazy thing about watching. <laughs> The funny, I don't know, I'm, and I'm a totally 100% truthful there. I don't know what I like best, just the way you act in your acts or the actual magic that you do, which is amazing. Like, I, I think I like just, <laughs> just how the, you are more than the nonchalance your, your adds such a next level to it. Oh. Your nonchalant attitude about oh. the magic there and just the like. Yeah, that happened. Cool. <laughs> I like how it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would yeah, expect nothing else. I would just, expect just nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And so how many different kind of tutorials did people get, are people going to get with this third edition deck? How many tutorials? Yeah. Uh, so um, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve effects. Nice. That's wow. awesome. So not only are you getting a really amazing deck of cards, but you're getting a lot of really, really great magic out of this as well. The previous one had half six. Okay. Uh, plus there are bonuses with this one. Um, there's one bonus called when things go wrong. Another bonus that is called um, reversal procedures. Those are my favorite ways to secretly reverse a card in the deck. And there's a third one that is called um, TTMC. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, and then there is another bonus that is, what the hell is that one? Give me one second. I'm just going to check. Um, that is, oh, it's called How Many Cards? That's a technique that you can do with butterfly cards that um, I actually realized that that's possible much later after shooting the first tutorials that's cool. and it's it's an interesting technique that i don't really know i i don't use it for any effects but i think it might be useful okay uh but i don't really know how yet so i just put it out there for people to know about and maybe somebody will come up with an idea how to use it and then there is a fifth bonus video which is called the easter eggs Ah, nice. Very nice. And that's gonna is that gonna walk you through all the Easter eggs in the deck? You'll just have to buy it and find out, I guess. I love it. Meep, meep. And so now, Andre, obviously with these being um a new edition of the original, the OGs, you have the red and the blue, which pretty much standard two colorways for any deck of cards. Which do you prefer? Do you like the blue better? Do you like the red better? What's your go-to color? Um, I'll tell you this. So the blue has been more popular generally among the peoples. And because of that, I've been using the red ones for so long. <laughs> so the blue go. sold out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the blue sold out and we had the reds, just just the reds. <laughs> so I've been using it for so long that now I like I look at the blue ones and I say, Well, these are 
So blue. Yeah. <laughs> I do have um, to say too, I love the red you chose for your deck just because it's not that standard, like very bright primary yeah. red. It's almost like a a mix between like a maroon and a primary red. It's a very medium red, which is nice. Yeah. Looks so beautiful. I'm still positive. It's a good red. It's a good red. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you like um are you digging the the slim line better or do you like I the- love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's so good. Yeah. Someone's great. Here, here it is. See it in there? No. <laughs> the caterpillar? No. I'm here. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> That's it? That was cool. Let me put on my my flashlight here. I still don't see it, dude. Well, it's somewhere else in your deck, Steve. Oh, in the black one, it's in a different spot. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's why. I'm like, oh come on, I'm, we're not gonna put it in the same place. I think everyone's gonna have to go check all of their butterfly decks now and find the location in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Locate the caterpillar. So, <laughs> how are we doing on the story? Yeah, so we have um, a couple entries in the story so far. Yep. We have, let's see, we have Leonard Gug. Uh, Leonard, I'm going to mispronounce your name, and I apologize from the jump because there's an umlaut in it, and I couldn't tell you how to pronounce that. So so Leonard here has step one. Oops, there goes the butterfly. Step two, bet you can't fly. Step three, yeah, lucky you. Then we have Chris here, which says, one, flap faster, I'm hot. Two, I'm going as fast as I can. Three, I can't wait for electricity. We got any other entries in here coming in, guys? Let's see. Send them in. I mean, we got to get some more entries. Let's go, peeps. Let's do Batman. And, uh, you got to have something. I prefer simplicity. And Stuart, you got to have something. <laughs> he does. I mean, he is does. C-Dub still in here? Come on, C-Dub. C-Dub would come up with something very raunchy, I'm sure. Yeah, Stu just made it in, so he's not even sure what the giveaway is. So let's explain it again. (laughs) Okay. So uh, we are creating a story because uh, with the third edition deck, there there are three sticker sheets included that have been designed by one of the greatest car designers in the world. And you can put those on the box and create a story or personalize your butterfly deck in any way you want like like this one for instance and we just made this blank story and we're trying to figure out what is she saying what is the butterfly responding and what is she actually thinking yes so uh, So the first one is is the one on the bottom left which is the queen saying something to the butterfly right and then the butterfly responds, and then her thought bubble is the third one. So it goes in that order, and uh, what you're going to get is you're going to get this. Is it? Are they getting this actual deck? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So you're getting this actual deck. Andre will lick the tuck box or something. Or... <laughs> <laughs> He'll put a cricket in it or something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, can spill milk on it. Yellow milk. Sp- Interesting. <laughs> this just made me have a flashback. The last time we had Andre on, where he was just drinking plain milk. <laughs> oh my god, I, to, I love I it. I had to change now because I already, uh, I already drank a liter of milk today. So good lord, a liter of milk. That's a lot of milk, dude. A freaking teaspoon of milk's a lot of milk. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what are you drinking now? Uh, this is um, just pure apple juice. Nice, hundred percent. So yeah, it's um, very very good quality. Man, just quality. apples. Nice. Drinking some healthy stuff. There's here Super we go. Hell. Stu Batman comes in. Step one: You're beautiful, Mister Butterfly. Step two: I'm just nature. Step three: Nature is beautiful. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like That's Stu. Cute. That's cute. It's very good. We got Patrick here with where are you going to see Andre perform? Step three, you should hurry. He can't perform without you. <laughs> That's a good I one. I like that one. I like that one too. 
Good job, Patrick. And you know, since uh, he's got a Stockholm 17 profile photo, I know that gives him plus karma points. Plus karma. <laughs> right? <laughs> Very nice. That was a good one. We'll give it another minute here, see if we get any last minute entries. And then, Andre, you're going to have the distinct pleasure of picking a winner. Well, I have a favorite so far, right? All right, that's fair. I hope you have a favorite. One of them has to win, so. Has it been said yet? <laughs> True. Uh, where, where can I find the, where, where are we broadcasting to? We are on Send YouTube me and Facebook right now. Let me get you the link for YouTube. Thank you very much. Not a problem. All right, I'm going to drop it in the private chat here. There you go. Bo Crema. Bo what Crema. up, Bo? Healthier than drinking milk. <laughs> All right, we have this. We got another one. We got knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, wait. I need to, I need to say the punchline, not only think it. And then we have this by C-Dub. Sup, beautiful. Butterfly says, thanks. She's thinking, must be a monarch. Clever. Very clever. All right. We'll give it another another minute here, and we're going to wrap things. Andre, you, you getting close already? Sounds good. <laughs> close right. to what? <laughs> close to, to your favorite there. Um, yeah, I, I have a, I have a few favorites, I guess. Hey. Oh my hey. God. Wow. There is a, I just, uh, I just went to the link and what happened was I have an advertisement here, right? And that <laughs> guy, they, that guy looks like Jonathan Bame. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. And I was like, what, what is he, what, what's happening? Okay, so well, here we have the chat. Nice open. wings. He goes, thanks. She's thinking, bet he's a larva. Swings. Thanks. Bet he's a larva. Okay, uh, my uh, English language capacity doesn't um, reach that those heights. So can anyone explain? Explain Bet what? he's a larva? What 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 is the punchline in there? Punchline. <laughs> Dub, do you want to do you want to mention the punchline here? <laughs> Please explain. Thank you. <laughs> Rambo, my vote goes. Let's see. We got some good entries so far. Yeah. Andre, what are you feeling? Are you feeling a favorite so far? I'm going through them. Just Lennon, to Lennon, them. Lennon says, I don't understand it either. <laughs> As a native English speaker, I don't think I get it. DK magician. <laughs> hey, nicely done, DK. <clears throat> that's funny. You got to explain it, C-Dub. Hey, you know what? C-Dub might not even get it, and that's what makes it funny. I'm like I'm looking at Stu's now, thinking maybe I could adjust it. I don't know if it's an improvement, but it, if she says you're beautiful, Mister Butterfly, he would say I'm a natural, and <laughs> she says nature is beautiful. Or things I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not better. I see. Mm. I mean, you can edit it any way you'd like. I'm like. Yeah, Leonard found his caterpillar in the silver blocks. Nice. As Andre is scrolling through all the comments, I can I can like see his progression through the chat. <laughs> I have silver. I, mean, I have gold black here. Let me see. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now, Andre, while you're trying to figure this out, too, one of the nice things about this third edition, too, as of right now, you do not have a limit on the current sale, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. But, oh, and maybe we did not really uh, talk about it too much, but if you like the red butterflies, we are doing a sale on the second edition. Nice. And that sale is 40% off. 
Wow. Oh, wow. Which means that you can get six refill decks. What is the price on it now? Let me check. So if I go here, if I, it's on the homepage, okay. six refill decks is now. I'm going to do <laughs> 47 97. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say that's 48 divided by six is eight euros. So that's like $10 a deck less. Nice. That's not bad. Less than $10 a deck. Or yeah, a it comes out to about 55 55 for the six. That's really not bad at all. DK chimed in here. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Butterflies like margarine. I think that was just a random butterfly joke. I don't know if that was an entry. I don't know. I mean, it's DK. Who knows? <laughs> so the time has come, Andre. Okay. You ready? So... Uh... Euro is my enemy. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the fun. <laughs> I love that. There you go. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say that because that's important. It is important, isn't it? We appreciate everyone liking and subscribing to the video. Absolutely. Yes. Guys, uh, subscribe. You know, just it's, it's not going to hurt you in any way. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Here's one by yeah. C-Dub. Girl says, hey, butterfly keeps talking. She thinks must be social butterfly. Is that a thing, social butterfly? Yeah, yeah. social butterfly is someone who floats between a lot of different groups and is very outgoing and extroverted. Yeah. Huh. That's clever, right? That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Hey. How about this one? Bo. Nice Hi, wings, thanks. Mr. Butterfly. Thanks, said the butterfly. They are marked. That has the butterfly saying two things, though, rather than the opposite. Oh, so we could actually shift the thought bubble up. Yeah, to the butterfly. Hmm. I, I like this uh, person breaking the rules. <laughs> That's both for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that's, that's the way you do it. <laughs> when you want to, you know, you want to make it in life. Break the rules. But he's like, I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> you just changed so, the rules. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Added there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the social butterfly. So far, the most, I think. Okay. All right. So, C dub. C dub. Are we calling C dub the winner here? Girl says, Hey, butterfly keeps talking. Must be social butterfly. Now, okay, C dub, you have to finish this, right? So, <laughs> she says, Hey. Now, firstly, what is he actually saying to which she reacts? must be a social butterfly and he must be thinking something else than what he's saying but it has to be somehow connected to the situation so c dub finish it we like it you're gonna get this deck <laughs> right that's fair that is that is fair oh let's wait CW, you have a you have a you have a countdown clock going here, buddy. Let's <laughs> yeah, see right? what you got. No pressure. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, Andre, I like your no pressure face. No pro come on, C Dub. You got you got like a minute. He's like, I'm literally hey, driving. It's okay. We're in no rush. Uh, I'm literally, ten, I'm literally nine, driving. I love it. Eight. <laughs> Oh my God! That's could that could be what the butterfly is saying. I'm literally driving. <laughs> is that oh, it? Got it? All right. So his says, "Hey, butterfly keeps talking." So what is the butterfly saying? I mean, the butterfly could say. 
It's not on us to figure it out, Steve. No, no, I'm trying to say it by what he said about I'm literally driving. How can we, like, put that into butterfly oh, terms? I think that was him just saying literally driving. No, no, I know. So, um, C-Dub, if we're not going to get answer, Stu Batman is going to get it. <laughs> there you go. I love oh, that I'm Stefan chimed here. in here. <laughs> As a comic artist, this reading letter breaks my craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I realize that this this makes no sense. Like, or the words. it's perfect. But I, you know, it's just we, we we're just uh, we're just breaking the rules. So C Dub has an answer. He's talking about weather and the day. Okay, <laughs> now Stu doesn't want him to answer. Makes sense. Uh, now C Dub, but we want to know what is the butterfly thinking? Yes, what's his thought bubble? Oh man. I think he's thinking about the queen. <laughs> and also oh, uh, Stefan. She must Stefan. be single. Oops. Okay, she thinks. Go ahead. What the hell? Um the butterfly thinks she must be single. C dub. That, uh, that's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> too much, pre too, too much, much pressure. pressure. <laughs> Stu, you have a chance. <laughs> unless, unless Stefan comes up with something that's in the correct order uh -oh. of the comic strip, and it might be so good that I'm just gonna say, "Sorry, C Dub. Sorry, C Dub." So is two. Stefan's gonna get it. <laughs> you can do better than that, C Stefan. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Let's see what you got, man. So do Stefan. It's yours now. <laughs> it's a creativity challenge for the designer of butterfly playing cards. Stu says he's working on it. <laughs> I mean Stefan. I bet. I bet. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, um, I'm going to tell you more about. Uh, our sale. Well, as Let's always, if you buy over 250 euros worth of cards or whatever we're offering, um, you'll get a free DHL shipping. And, and we, ladies and gents, are offering on Butterfly Playing Cards the very first product that is not Butterfly Playing Cards product. Wow. It is called a Mundi product, and it is Copax. 310. Nice. Just normal decks. Nice. And today we're offering them for incredible price. One deck, ladies and gents. Four. And uh, now I do I need to say it in, in dollars? <laughs> Jesus. So much work. Omar threw a, uh, a late entry here. Yeah. Late three dollars, three dollars and fifty-seven cents. That's a steal for a Copac three ten man. Oh. One Copac deck. It's not bad at all. And if you buy a break, and we have a mixed break here, um, it's <laughs> probably the same. Andre. Wait, if you buy a break. Yes, someone talking to me? Yes. We, we got another entry. Is it a good one? Girl. Hey, this is by Omar Bitton. Bitton. Is it Bitton? Steve, focus. Girl, I am focused. Girl, hey, butterfly, want to see a card trick? Girl's thinking. Please, no, please, no, please, no. Butterfly thinks, shit, I forgot the mocking system. I prefer simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. C dub. Butterfly thinking she needs to catch Andre's show on December twelfth. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, right, it is true. Away. Well Stefan Stefan, I think, went to bed. Yeah, Stefan. You have okay, about twenty so, seconds here. No, he, he just takes his time sometimes. <laughs> uh he's not a lot track. Uh, he's not but, a lot of tricks. 
three, but he's a designer. He's an artist. Yeah. That means that he needs time to create. So give him two more minutes. So right. if you buy a break of the Copax, that's a mixed break, blue and red. And it's uh, $3.26 for one deck. Nice. That's a steal. That that's really on is a great Slimline price. as well, right? Yes, steal. What? It's on Slimline as well, right? It is Slimline. Yeah. And uh, this offer is valid um, this weekend only. Nice. nice. Oh, did I tell you that we have a Black Friday special? No, no. what's your Black that Friday we, special? When you buy a refill break of the third edition which costs uh, 110 euros, okay. which is $10 a deck, basically. You will get, uh, because the, the refills don't have the instructions and don't have the stickers. So with the break, you will get a free third edition original deck with the stickers and the tutorials. So for, uh, what is it, $120? You'll get a break of butterflies, with one deck, with tutorials and the stickers. Nice. That's, that's really cool. That's our, a hell of a deal. Yeah, that's dope. That's our special. And that's also what most people are buying. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a good one. Dude, that's a really good deal. Anyway, so, uh, where were we? Nowhere. Stefan has Stefan just has laughed. Been... He's just laughed. That's all we've gotten so far from him. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. We, we're just going to, because if... If you write ha 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 and ha 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 and ha ha ha, ha no matter in which order you read the bubbles, it's always the same. <laughs> and it's funny. It's and it's simple. So thank you, Stefan. He wins. <laughs> you win. Uh, so um, I'm going to review and. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know who won? Yep. All right. Who's the winner? I'm going to give it to Stu. All right. Stu Batman. Stu. Congrats, <laughs> Stu. Congratulations, Stu. <laughs> well, Stu, we're going to have you reach out directly to Andre, correct, Andre? That's the easiest way? Uh, but uh, we have to we have to write it, write it in. So uh, what was it? So, I'm pulling it up now uh, here. Okay, wait, let me see. Sorry. There you go. Step one, you're so, beautiful, Mr. Butterfly. You're beautiful, Mr. Butterfly. Step I'm two, just I'm just nature. Oh, or I'm a natural, as you put it. Um, so wh wh what do you think is better? I'm just nature or I'm a natural? I think I'm, I'm a natural flows better. I know. Or it's natural. Oh, it's natural. What do you think, Steve? Um... You're skeptical. I think, like, I think go on like the Tyler thing. Like, it's just nature, or it's an. It's I in can't... my nature. That's cool. It's in, it's in my nature. Yeah, I long. think that's cool. It's kind of a little ego, but it's cool. It's in my. No, I can do it. <laughs> we can. We can work with that. Beautiful, Mr. Butterfly. And uh, so it is, it's in my nature. Yep. So while I'm doing this, you can do something so it's not boring. I mean, this is eventful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Has oh, everybody picked up their it, butterfly deck yet? It's in my nature, right? Yeah. Uh, I wrote, it's my nature. That's fine. That works. <laughs> Does that work? Hey, yeah. you're the you're you're the originator over there. You can put whatever you want on it, Andre. You have some you have some artistic license here. <laughs> Wait. Now, are we expecting to see a, a, a fourth edition coming from you, or what? <laughs> uh, it's in my nature, and she says nature is beautiful. I love that. Now, here's Stu. the thing though, Stu. This was like pre fourth bubble, so now we like Stu or, or Andre. Why don't you add the fourth bubble? Hmm, 
You can be have like your beautiful. You want. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be your little addition. It'll be a secret. Nobody only will know. Stu will know. Yeah, only Stu will know. And while everyone's trying to figure out what Andre is going to be writing on that fourth bubble, only for Stu's only for Stu's eyes, then you should head over to <laughs> butterflyplancards.com and nice. pick yourself up a deck of the third edition or even a brick of the third edition. Because honestly, you're getting so much value out of this with the magic that's going to be included, the tutorials, the cool stickers. You're going to be able to create your own narrative on this tuck and really make them your own, which I think is just so much fun. Yeah. I could see like the the, <laughs> the yeah. wheels turn in there. I have ideas. Well, you have you have but, some time. You don't have to do it now. You just have to do my, it before you send it. My ideas sometimes are um, slightly dirty. Sure doesn't care. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. sure doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm um, I'm uh, I'm gonna personalize it for for Stu in that little thought bubble of the bottom. There you go. That's a deal. So, Andre, what's your favorite part about this third edition deck that's dropped? Oh, I thought we we're we we're going to end. Oh, we're going to wrap it, but I want to know what your favorite part is just for anyone who's out there on the fence. I'm sorry, what was the question? What is your favorite part about this third edition release? Um, I think it's... Um, I'm excited about people playing with the stickers. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think that adds like a little fun aspect of it, you know? I think... You know, I have two decks here, and we had so much fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> just with this guy, it's... Like, and so for anyone and, who know, does get them, make sure what's the hashtag for that again? It looks fun, you know. It looks fun. No, it is it is written on on, on the back of the sticker sheets, you know. Good. So My everyone, butterfly design. When you do get these, you're gonna want to make sure you post your awesome, creative, unique tux on Instagram and on social media and use that hashtag so that they can check out all the fun stuff people are doing with these. Yeah, C dub, you can redeem yourself, bro, if you pick up a brick. Yeah, you have twelve. <laughs> you have twelve opportunities 12 to make opportunities it better. To, yes, to, to, to redeem. redeem yep, and you don't have to do it while you're driving, so maybe you'll be able to focus a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, Andre, you're the man. We appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing your time on your podcast. It's always honestly, awesome. we love a having you on, man. We always love having you on. We're excited to see next time where you're going to be. I have to say, too, this is a different view of the basement from last time. And the stairs behind you kind of looks like you're in, like, an M.C. Escher painting because it looks like the stairs are upside <laughs> yes. down. Yeah, it it's super yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> that threw me off when you first got on. I'm like, all right, like, Andre's taking his background to the next level and now. now. Wait, wait for me to go back step on that door and walk walk up the stairs man i be epic. would be out i would be out I, I that's like know what that's I'm like chris lange that's like chris angel level right there oh my god just like <laughs> gravity flips you over there oh my gosh well listen thank you so much to everyone who swung out this friday in their afternoon or wherever mm -hmm. you are in the world evening morning as it is we appreciate each and every one of you coming out to listen to Andre talk about this third yes. edition of the Butterfly Playing Cards and have some fun with us, with us creating this interesting story here. Stu, congrats to you on winning that awesome deck. And for anyone out there who wants to jump in on all the fun, make sure to head over to ButterflyPlayingCards.com and pick up your third edition of the blue or the red, whichever you like. Pick up both if you want. They're both beautiful decks. Andre, we appreciate having you on, man. It's been an absolute pleasure. We can't wait to see what you have for us in store soon. Yes. Thank you very much. Peace. Thank, See you, everybody. Thank you so much. You're the bestest. Bye.